Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is Fat Guy Flies RC. Looky here. I got it. It's the Tower Hobbies ASW28. Got her together. And uh, I'll do a post build and post maiden video. The, I mean, honestly, there was no need to do a build video. It is so easy. The, the four screws, the four uh, shorter screws hold your wings on. The two longer machine screws hold your uh, uh, horizontal stabilizer on. You hook up one servo, light to light, dark to dark. That's all there is to it. Now, if you notice the flashing, that's not stock. I put the easy lights on, under there. That is my takeoff flaps. That's my landing flaps. Okay. Here's your elevator, ailerons. Prop away from me. Prop has a little bit of a, has a speed brake on it, so that's good. What do you say we take her up? Let's do the maiden on this bad boy. Now, it's very windy. Wind is out of the southwest. So basically, that way. So, and I'm running a 2200 4S. She calls for a 4S. Um, to show you where I've got her is right there underneath that for kind of forward because i want the cg a little bit forward i want to be a little heavier a little bit nose heavy the uh cg point give you a reference point look for your shadow of your wing spar and you see this corner right here where this this doubler comes in put your finger right there right up in front of that wing spar where you see the shadow of it and that's that's right where she cgs at so 70 to 78 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wings so i'm running an ar620 and tailless receiver no gyro no stabilization nothing like that now unfortunately my toss is going to be into the wind so i'm going to give her takeoff flaps um timer set for five minutes Okay. Yeah. And she's up. Oh boy, she fast. Wind is not being a friendly to her at all. But, man, she got the power. I don't have any kind of uh, elevator to flat mix in. Let's see if I can't land her. Prop's not on. Okay, all right. I don't think I need, uh, I've already done the, the uh, control surface check, I already did that. Um, definitely don't need, I think the prop, seem, or the elevator seems to be a little anemic, but then again, and wind don't always count don't trim your plane in wind. It's just never a good idea. And uh, cause you can't get a true feel. Try to uh, trim her on very, very calm days. That way you get a true feel of how the air flow. Don't think she need a takeoff flap. She really seemed to climb on me. So about half throttle and I just pushed her forward. I didn't have to give her a hard chunk. Just pushed her forward a little bit. She handles the wind pretty good. She's very stiff, very strong wing. They do have the, I didn't have to do any. All the uh, connections were already hooked up for me. So I didn't have to worry about, and everything was basically perfectly trim. I wonder if she'll do a roll. 
her forte. But that's okay, not bad for a sailplane. All right. Got decent, decent rudder authority. No flaps this time. As you can see, she's really getting rocketed around. Rocketed around? Whatever rocketed around is. Yeah, she doesn't like the wind. I mean, she does okay, she's handling it, but boy. Now you can really see them lights now. Got the uh, landing flaps are in. Just a little bit of throttle. A little bit of throttle. Keeping her forward. Yeah. All right, take the flaps out. And incidentally, the uh, winglets, they give you, or at least I got, an extra set of winglets. All right. All right, props off. Flaps are all the way down. Man, is it windy. Okay, it is windy. Windy, windy, windy. But really, when if you're going into the wind, and if any wind of any strength at all, you don't need takeoff flaps. You just give her a nice chunk, about half throttle. And I say a nice chunk, I mean, I'm just, basically, I got her into the wind. I'm holding her right behind those uh, uh, wings uh, doublers, or the strong doublers. And I'm just kind of pushing her forward. About maybe 40 degrees up. See? Yeah. She reminds me of the FMS ASW. The uh, one that has their tradition, I don't know what the ASW 17, I think is what it's called. Flaps are down, flaps are now up. Well, I can imagine how much fun this plane would be on a calm day. Time remaining two minutes. Yeah, you get this puppy up high. Catch the thermal if you're lucky enough. There we go. Now really, the ideal way to land a plane like this is not to let her plop down, but where she just kind of comes in, you cut the prop and she rolls on straight. Um, some of the nice features of this plane is it has skid uh, plates, okay? Motor off. We still got two minutes of flying. Um, she got um, the ailerons, or uh, the flap servos, the aileron servos are all protected. You've got a hard, these are hard plastic skid plates, hard plastic uh, joiners where the wings come in. Um, skid plate back here. So, could land her on a runway, but of course it's gonna mar all that up. Um, you just have to be careful, you know, when you, right before you hit, right before you touch down, you wanna make sure you've got your prop off, you glide in the rest of the way, um, because you break a prop. And stupid me to not buy an extra prop with it. But right here, I'm just gonna get her about half throttle, just a little upward. And then just push her forward. Didn't even, didn't use takeoff flaps or anything. I kind of like the way where that uh, um, battery feels. She did not really want to dive on me that much. I do have a little bit further forward. Okay. All right. Now she's gliding in. Whoa, that caught up, caught the breeze there. Now 
Now she will climb. She will climb when you give her power with them flaps. So maybe we could use a little bit of uh, elevator to uh, flap mix, but if you're just using your flaps, you're, you're bringing her in, gliding her in, dead stick, she does just fine. All right, let's see if we can't. There, now that is a perfect example of how you land a glider, right there, right there. All right, we got enough for one more. This would also be a great plane for like a real lightweight trolley. Put her on a runway and just fly off the trolley. Um, definitely got power. And even without the battery, she's a fairly heavy plane. I couldn't tell you the, the actual weight, but she's fairly heavy. And uh, so let's try her one more time. Okay. Like I say, about half throttle. And just kind of up and just give her a nice little forward chunk Time remaining, one minute. and she does just fine flaps are down wow <laughs> it's windy up there it is windy All right, flaps are down. Let's land her on a runway again. Working my elevator, working my rudder a little bit. Throttle to, whoa. All right, well, I cut the prop, right? It's a little too late, but I still cut the prop. We're gonna try that one more time, okay? One more time, one more time. All right, turn the prop. Oh boy, have I got the grass. Yeah, you gotta be careful too. Land on that grass, you're gonna collect a bunch of. All right, got the flaps down, bringing her into the wind, got her right into the wind now. Just enough momentum to keep her going straight. There, <laughs> that's not too bad, we'll take that. Well folks, that is the Tower Hobbies ASW 28 that's me with my on my little trim settings there um, great glider I tell you she flies great the today is so windy it's just hard to to uh, really get a good feel for her trim but look at the the profile got plenty of rudder authority I think we need more aileron or elevator authority honestly the uh, to me the elevator does seem a little bit of anemic but I'm not going to adjust that. See, that's the elevator. That's a big plane for such a little elevator. So for me, I think it needs a little more elevator authority, but I'm not going to adjust that to get more until I can fly her on a very calm day so I can get a true feel. I'm gonna leave her alone the way she is. And the way I have her is 100% throws over 30% expo everywhere. I have the uh, flaps setting. Now this is on a Spectrum um, transmitter, Spectrum system. I got 100% for flaps up, they're at 100%. For takeoff flaps, which that's what they look like, they're at 0%. And then for landing flaps, which there's what they look like, negative 100%, no mix set in and a two minute or two second deployment. 
And like I said, my, my rates are only one rate, 100%, over 30% expo all the way around. And I'm impressed. I am really impressed. I think she needs more elevator authority. This is just my feeling. Um, but she is set up for um, the least amount of throws. Now, the other thing you want to get with this plane, have yourself a good rubber band. My prop, my motor's off. Okay. Get yourself a rubber band. Because these props, yes, they are a folding prop. But they are not going to, they're just going to uh, fold out like this. So take yourself a rubber band, have it in your pocket, and go ahead and put that on there. Trust me. When you got this back in the hanger and back on, your, back on the shelf, you're going to be glad that you have that, that rubber band on there. All right. Well, folks, there you go. That is the Tower Hobbies ASW28. A successful maiden, got bugs all over. A successful maiden, and even the cockpit has a little instrumentation. Uh, it's kind of a nice little touch there. Uh, lice latch for the prop. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and don't forget, folks, faith, family, and friends, and them planes. Bye bye. Real quick, folks, I want on the uh, Tower Hobbies ASW 28. I flew for five minutes and 50 seconds, or sorry, four minutes and 50 seconds. Flew her pretty hard, and I had 30% left on that 2200 4S. And right there is where I have mounted my um, AR620 Spectrum antennaless receiver just to let you know. All right, just, just to follow up on that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. Bye-bye.